In this video, we're going to animate our background to fade out as well. So it's gonna be pretty similar to how we did the text. So hopefully this is just review. If, if you actually want to give it a shot and try to animate this, um, this background image, the opacity fading out, um, I think it'd be a good exercise. So go ahead and pause and try that out if, if you wanna do that. If not, we're just gonna keep moving forward. So in order to animate my background image, I first need to add my background image to the animation. So to do that, <clears throat> we're still inside of the same animation. So we're not gonna make a separate animation. We're actually going to make sure that we're still in the intro quote fade in, but we're gonna add a new track. So I'm going to add um, you notice if I try to hit add track, it's not gonna know what to look for. That's because we need to select our background image right here and then hit um, the plus track, track button, then add background. Okay, so this adds the image track to our animation and allows us to start animating. So now we need to add an attribute from our background that we wanna animate. And I want, again, the color and opacity. So plus track, color and opacity. You'll notice that it added one at the beginning, but um, sorry, don't, don't drag the beginning of your animation around. Um, this, this track right here, if, I, if this was somewhere else, it might have added those initial keyframes at the beginning. If it did that, don't worry about it. You can just drag them back to the beginning if you want. Just make sure that your initial keyframes are here at zero. And that actually adds our first keyframe for us as well. So at zero seconds, I want the alpha to be one, right? Because in this case, I want the background to be fully opaque, uh, even though our text is fully transparent at the moment. So at zero seconds, our background image alpha is one, is value one. At, uh, you know what? At seven seconds, I still want it to be value one because I want to fade out my text first and then I wanna quickly fade out my background image. This is just gonna fake a, um, we'll call it a screen fade that between cameras. I think it'd just be nice rather than a hard cut out of your background. You, you could technically do a hard cut. I think this, this is just a little nicer. I'll give you a few more options. So at seven seconds, I still wanna wait that long. And I think at this moment is when I wanna start fading out my background image. So I'm not gonna put zero here because what that would do, well, I am just to show you, uh, if I say at seven seconds, I want it to be zero, consider what that's doing. That's saying at, at the zero seconds, I want it to be one, and then I want it to slowly fade to zero over time. And that's not really what I want. Um, I wanna hold the value of my background, this opacity one, the entire time, right? So I want it to be a pass, um, alpha one. At seven seconds, I still want it to be opacity one. So I'm gonna move the time marker to seven seconds. Hit one, and right at this moment in time, I want to I want to fade it out. So I'm going to expand my animation to, um, you know, I think eight seconds is probably pretty good. I think between seven to eight seconds, I want it to go from one to zero, being fully uh, transparent. So I'm going to move it to I'm going to move the time marker to eight seconds. At zero, and it should look like this, like that. So if I preview this last portion, if I move it right here and I hit spacebar, you'll see that subtle, it's a little bit subtle, but this fade into the next thing, um, I, I think that looks about how I want it to. So once you have that, you can test the whole thing if you like and um, readjust your timing on your keyframes. If you don't see the other ones, just expand this right here and you'll, move that around all right so just remember that your full animation is eight seconds because that will come in handy later but once you have this done we have the look of our animation we just need to actually figure out how to display that inside of our game so we will do that next